choosing between a lover and a spouse. What do you do? Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to the Happily Committed Project. If this is your first time visiting the channel, welcome. Make sure you are hitting that subscribe button so that you can get notifications every time we put out new content. My name is Danny, and I'm one of the head coaches here at the Happily Committed Project, along with my incredible colleagues, Coach Adrian and Coach Natalie. So this video is, it's a loaded one, right? Um, and it is a question that I've gotten on more than one occasion. Um, and it specifically obviously surrounds the decision between a spouse, somebody that you are with and somebody who you are currently having an affair with, somebody who you would categorize as your lover. And the question that I always get is, what do I do? How do I choose? How do I know I am making the right decision? Because at the end of the day, what stops people, what hinders people from making the decision either way is because you are afraid you are going to make the wrong decision. So I wanted to provide you with some information, right? Some, some recommendations around this so that you feel like you can make a better, more informed decision for yourself. The first thing that we want to talk about is making sure that you are spending time reflecting on the situation, right? If you are only hyper focused on how you're feeling, you will remain stuck because feelings are subjective, right? Um, and being in that situation and feeling as confused as you do, all you can really go off of is how you're feeling in that moment. However, it is incredibly important to step outside of the situation and view things objectively. Ask yourself, the questions. Ask yourself the hard questions. Why am I in this situation to begin with? What is it that I was not getting in my relationship that I am currently getting in this situation? Is this truly love or is it infatuation? Am I feeling fulfilled with my lover because I was not getting what I needed from my husband, my wife, my partner, whatever the case may be? And did I ever communicate and express to my partner that my needs were not being met? If there's something that you struggle with and you, you feel like it's difficult for you to sit down and ask yourself those questions, I am more than happy to support you. I am more than happy to walk you through that process because I have helped so many people in this type of situation before where we sit down and we analyze the situation and we ask the tough questions and we get to the root of the issue and we make a decision either way so that you feel like you are no longer stuck in limbo. So if you need that help, if you need that support, I am your guy. I'm here to help you through that. Um, I'm going to, I'll put a link in the description box down below so that you can book your session through that link. That way you don't have to, you know, directly go directly to the website and all of that stuff. You click that link and it'll take you directly to the coaching page so that you can book your session and we can get started right away. So you can stop feeling like you are going crazy and you can stop feeling stuck. The second part of this is, is the reason for why you are in this situation because you finally feel seen and understood. Because if that is the case, obviously, I understand why you are in that predicament and in that situation. But the question is the longevity of that. We have to take a look at the circumstance and the situation itself. Is that person also married? Is that person also struggling with, with, you know, themselves and not feeling understood and heard and seen in their relationship? Um, is this a situation of happenstance or circumstance? We have to look at all angles to be able to make the appropriate decision, to make the right decision, the one that works for you. The second thing here is the honeymoon phase will end. Like any relationship that you are in, the honeymoon phase will end. And if you are currently in the honeymoon phase because this is new and this is exciting and you feel alive again and you feel exhilarated and all the emotions and the butterflies and everything are there, understand that at the end of the day, this is another human being. This is another person, 
right? Who has flaws, who has specific ideologies, who has ways of thinking, who may be stubborn, who may not necessarily be as open and understanding and caring as you think they may be long term, because right now everything feels new. So really understanding, realistically speaking, that the honeymoon phase will end just like it did with your partner, with the person that you are with, with your husband, with your spouse, with your wife, right? So keeping that in mind, because I think oftentimes people get lost in, in the feelings and the butterflies and the fairy tale of it all and don't really think about long term. So if this is something that you have not thought about long term, it's something to take into consideration. The third thing here is take some time for yourself, right? Um, separate yourself from the situation and let that person know that you need time to think, that you need time to process. You really want to make sure you are making the right decision for yourself. Are you willing to step away from your current relationship, your marriage, in order to try to make something work with this individual? And if you are, have you been very clear about your expectations and your needs and boundaries with this new individual? Have there been discussions about future plans, goals, what you're hoping to achieve together, their level of patience around the situation? Because if you are married and they are not, they also have to understand that the divorce process is long. It can be long um, and it can be emotionally taxing and exhausting and all of these things. And there are going to be moments where you feel like you made a mistake or you may regret the decision that you're making. And are they willing to be there for you emotionally through that process? So really taking a step back and thinking about whether this is the right decision for you or not. And it may be a decision where neither of these situations are the best thing for you. So maybe you do still consider or move forward with a divorce, but then you also leave that relationship as well so that you can focus on you. If your fear is being alone, if your fear, again, is to end up by yourself, it's not necessarily a rational fear. You are feeling that way at this moment because of the fact that there is the, the prospect of losing one or both. But sometimes in losing that, you find yourself. And when you find yourself, you will attract the person that is right for you. So just keep that in mind. And the last thing is commit. To whatever decision you make, commit. And as easy as that sounds, because I know it's easier said than done, it is absolutely necessary because if you're constantly flopping back and forth and you're not exactly sure and you're hot and cold and all of these types of things, you are potentially damaging both relationships, right? So whatever decision you make, make sure that you commit to it. Before you commit to it, spend the time reflecting and thinking about what your situation is, what it is you want, what your goals are, what your expectations are. And to be honest with you, being that this is the Happily Committed Project, my recommendation would be to try to work it out with your partner, with your spouse. If you have not tried everything you possibly can to make it work, make sure you're investing the time in doing that because you do not want to have any regrets down the line. And at the end of the day, the grass is not always greener on the other side. To quote the infamous coach Natalie, <laughs> as she said in one of her videos, you know, the grass is not always greener on the other side. The grass is greener where you water it. So make sure you are watering the grass in front of you first before you make any decisions. And again, if you feel like you need support, if you feel like you need guidance, if you feel like you need somebody to, to walk you through the first portion of this, I am more than happy to do that with you and for you. It would be my honor. I have helped so many people in these types of situations come to a decision and really find clarity for themselves. And sometimes that is all you need. So again, make sure you are clicking the link in the description box down below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're going through. Let us know what you're going through. We try to interact with as many people in the comment section. And at the end of the day, this channel, this community was made for you. So your words matter, your opinions matter. And we utilize that to create content for you. So you feel more supported and you feel like you're getting the recommendations and the strategies that you need. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you're going through. Anything you want to say, it is there for you. Again, my name is Danny. I'm your life and relationship coach. I hope you're staying happy and healthy and I'll see you in the next video.